Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you through our journey to Kerala, God's own country. So we took train from Bangalore to Ernakulam. The visuals you are seeing on the screen can be called as the mini airport of Bangalore. This is called Sir M. Vishweshwaraya Terminal. Third railway terminal in Bangalore and first air conditioned in the country. Our train was scheduled at 7 pm and we reached within time. We reached Kochi railway station 4.30 in the morning and got freshened up in a nearby hotel and then from 8 o'clock we started our journey to Munar. The route from Kochi to Munnar is extremely scenic. We had a very beautiful and pleasant journey with greenery surrounded. On the way to the Munnar, we got to see the Valara Falls. Valara features a chain of waterfalls falling from a height of about 1000 feet and provide a magnificent view. Then we visited Everest Green Spice Garden, which contains Ayurvedic spices and medicines. अच्छा बवासीर के लिए आप लोगों को मालूम है ना ऑपरेशन हो गया तो बाद में ना फिर वापस आएगा ये कितना टाइप का पाइल्स है फिस्टुला फिशर इन्नर आउटर ब्लीडिंग वगैरह उसके लिए मेडिसिन बनाते हैं ये आगे वाला नहीं है 123 ड्रीम मिस करके ना एक जाम टाइप का मेडिसिन आते हैं ऑपरेशन हो गया तो आदमी का ना 20 डेज को खाओ ऑपरेशन नहीं हो गया तो 40 सिंग को खाने के लिए 40 डेज ये मेडिसिन खाने का टाइम को कॉफी चिकन अंडा एक मत खाएगा आफ्टर द स्पाइस गार्डन टूर वी रीच टू होटल एंड चेकड इन our stay was at Atwood's Resort. It is located at Chitrapuram, very near to the Munnar. 
since we were tired with the travel once we reached the hotel we call it for the day We can only appreciate the miracle of sunrise only if you have waited in the darkness. I did not want to miss the beautiful sunrise from Atwood Resort. Sunrise is a reminder that we can start a new beginning all over again. True, right? After that beautiful sunrise view, we had our buffet breakfast at the resort and started for the sightseeing of the Munnar. To talk about Munnar, it's a town and hill station in the Idukki district of the southwestern Indian state of Kerala. Munnar is situated at around 1600 meters above sea level in the western ghats of mountain range. The word Munnar means three rivers in the Malayalam. Munnar is surrounded by rolling hills dotted with the tea plantation established in the late 19th century. Munnar is also known for the Neel Kurunji, a rare plant which flowers only once in 12 years munnar was favored summer resort of erstwhile british rulers in the colonial days munnar has very pleasant and favorable climate throughout the year the best time to take a road trip from kochi to munnar would be any time from september to march The weather is quite perfect for a road trip during this time of the year. Summers are usually warm, but one can still travel to Munnar because the weather is pleasant in the summers too. However, it would be wise to avoid the monsoon season. Munnar experiences a heavy rainfall which would hinder your travel plans completely.
so our second day first stop was at rose garden rose garden is located on the national highway 49 just 2 kilometers away from the munna city center at 3500 feet above sea level and is a wonderful place to explore one can visit the rose garden any time from 8 am to 5 pm the look and feel created by the attractive blossoms make the garden a mini heaven on the earth and unlike the name suggests the well maintained garden has all the flowers addition to the rose rose garden sits on 2 acres of land filled with hundreds of varieties of plants and plantations and it's a home to variety flora large number of flowers along with the trees like lychee ramatum strawberry as well as amla are a treat to know about and experience here the entry fee for the rose garden is 50 rupees you will find professional photographers there who will click beautiful pics with the flowers and greenery with nice background you can hire them if you want to get those pics they will charge around 20 rupees per pic but you need to buy a bulk of pics around 30 to 50 pics So after the visit to Rose Garden we continued our journey to visit Mattupatti Dam Mattupatti dam is more than just a water storage facility. The water body that forms as a result of this gravity dam is often termed as Mattupatti lake. So it is open 9:30 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. It can hold back a total of 55.4 million cubic meters of water. 
with a water spread area of 323.75 hectares Matupati dam services a catchment area of 105 square kilometers Matupati lake never dries up even in the summers while swelling its to maximum capacity in the monsoon and the rains add to its volume the availability of water continuously around the year makes it very popular with the birds and wild animals that rely on this reservoir to quench their thirst there was no entry fee when we visited but activities like boat riding jet ski horse riding can be done at this place by paying nominal fees for those who visit the lake to enjoy with a big group of friends or family there is a big boat ride which runs for half an hour with a capacity of 20 guests the boat charges around total of 700 rupees then we visited eco points eco points are places where original sound making a vibrating effect and comes back to the source from where it is generated for this reason eco point monar creates a buzz among the tourist every day 6 am to 7:30 pm eco point is open it's a popular tourist spot among the nilgiri hills after the beautiful visit to eco point we started back to downhill to check out photo point Photo Point is the favorite place for photographers. It's just only 3 kilometers away from the main marketplace. Open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. We stopped here and had a cup of tea and fill our eyes with a gorgeous view in front of us while sipping our tea. We also stopped at one shop where handmade traditional Kerala sarees were available. Different varieties of sarees and lungis priced starting from 700 and above.
Before we exhaust for the day, I wanted to have a one more closer look towards the nature in the midst of mountains and tea plantations. So we stopped at a beautiful point where I could walk in between the plantation and feel the nature. It was just the beginning of our journey. If you like the video, please click on the like button and please comment what you felt. And don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell button to get notifications of more videos to entertain.